This intro has been filmed many, many times. Um, did not like any of them. So uh, hopefully you'll see this one. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Cameron Alexander and this video is all about my top surgery. So just before you watch this video, I wanna let you guys know that the videos were filmed at like different points throughout the months. So if it looks a little choppy, I apologize. I tried to make it flow to the best of my abilities. But um, yeah, watch and learn some stuff. Now this video, you probably, not even probably, you're not gonna see it till after the 25th. I think it's like the 11th right now. It might be the 10th, it might be the 11th. I'll put the date right here. <laughs> uh, So yeah, that's the date right now. I have 13 days until the 25th. The 25th is so important because that is my top surgery consultation with Dr. Gabriel Del Caro. Um, hi, if you didn't know, my name is Cam and I'm FTM transgender. I'm really, really excited. I'm also really nervous. Um, I don't know if I'm talking about the nerves and shit right now. I'll probably do that like later on, probably after. I'm gonna try to film as much of the consultation as I can, as much as I'm comfortable with. Before I get into anything else, I wanna adjust the fact that I know a lot of people are gonna ask why top surgery before testosterone. Um, and that's just two two reasons. First of all, uh, my chest dysphoria is worse than the dysphoria about like physically everything else. So that's why. This appointment is to confirm that he's the one that I wanna go to. Um, I'd say again, I'm fucking 95% sure that I will be getting surgery with him. Um, just because out of everybody else in my area, well, not out of everybody else in my area, because you do know that I did want to go to Beverly Fisher. However, she does not accept my insurance, and I do not have the funds to pay out of pocket. Um, however, Gabriel Del Crow, he does accept insurances. Uh, I'll put his name and information either here, here somewhere, or uh, probably down in the description uh, so you guys can check him out. Um, I think he does great work. I... I like Beverly's results better. However, his results aren't bad either. So it is what it is. I'm, I'm gonna do what I have to do to um, alleviate dysphoria. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Cam. And uh, you probably just saw all of that. Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember what I recorded, honestly. Um, I'm still editing that as we speak. Um, but today is the 24th. So tomorrow is my top surgery consult and I am nervous. Um, nervous, the main reason is um, because obviously in order to do this consult, I'm gonna have to get topless and I'm just dysphoric. I'm, I'm already freaking out thinking about that. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I have a list of questions in my notes for him, so um, I'm gonna make sure all those are answered. That's another thing that you guys should do. You should make have at least a little bit of questions that you want to ask your surgeon. Um, if you don't have them memorized, I suggest you write them down. Um, what I did is I watched some top surgery videos on YouTube and uh, some of the questions that they had asked, I didn't even think about asking. So I wrote those down on my list too. Um, sorry if I'm kind of all over the place. Like I said, I'm. I'm nervous, I'm, but I'm also really excited because um, I'm just one step closer to being free. Um, but I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna film any of the consultation I thought I was previously, but um, between dysphoria and nerves and anxiety and just everything, I probably won't. Um, so yeah, all right, hey guys. Um, so my consultation was this morning. And I'm just going to tell you how it went and everything that happened in the process because I noticed that a lot of trans guys don't talk about like what happened during the consultation. Um, and a lot of people don't know. So I'm going to tell you. And yeah, so um, my consultation was my appointment was set for nine, but I had to get there at 830. Got there at 830 and literally by like 835, they were calling me to go back in the room. Um, they were very efficient. They were very fast. I wasn't waiting very long at all. I was literally still filling out the paperwork the entire time I was in the room because there was so much paper. Be ready to fill out all the paperwork, okay? There was a lot of paperwork for you to fill out. Um, so while I was filling all that stuff out, I literally was filling it out, had to stop and go back to the room. Went back to the room. They took my blood pressure, took my temperature because, you know, COVID and being safe and everything like that. Um, was filling out the paperwork. Uh, Dr. Gabriel Crow, Dr. Crow came and talked to me. Um, 
he showed me a slide of basically um, what the surgery was going to be like and what my results were mostly going to look like. I'm going to get to that later and just all the good stuff. Um, he left. I was still filling out paperwork. A nurse came back and took pictures of my chest and everything and was like, yeah, you can go. Uh, we're done. I was still filling out paperwork. <laughs> it literally, I, I, it, um, <laughs> and yeah, that's just basically what happened. Um, now, uh, I'll go over a little bit like of the questions that I've had. The questions that I had were um, like, Will the stitches dissolve or did they have to be removed? And for him, his stitches are dissolvable. Um, my questions were about like the post-op binder because I know some people, some surgeons give their patients a binder and some surgeons just wrap patients up in ace bandage. Um, he recommends a binder on Amazon to buy. So he was like, it's only like 20 bucks. So it's not that bad. And I've heard that a lot of trans guys have said that the post-op binder is better and more comfortable than the ace bandage, especially because you're gonna have to be wrapped up for like a few weeks after surgery, just for compression purposes and everything. Um, a big question that I had was a uh, scar placement and what my scars are gonna look like. Um, I didn't want it to, but unfortunately my scars are gonna have to meet in the middle of my chest just because of the size of my chest, um, but that's okay. It's not what I wanted, but I'm, it's okay. It's gonna be what I have to get. Um, but what are the questions I had? I had questions about um, smoking because if you don't know, I'm a cannabis user. And for him, he told me, go by what your surgeon tells you. My surgeon told me that I have to stop smoking two weeks before surgery. Um, and I asked him about smoking post-op and he said I was fine to smoke cannabis post-op. Once again, go by what your surgeon tells you to do. Every surgeon has different instructions for their patients. Um, he basically answered all the questions that I've had. He was very excited when I told him that I, if you hear jumping and thumping, it's because my brothers are upstairs. I apologize if you hear the floor shaking. Um, I am in the basement. But uh, he was very he was very excited when I told him that I had a lot of questions to ask. Um, I liked I liked that he was excited that I had questions to ask and not like, oh, you got questions. You feel me? Um, but yeah, he answered all my questions. I felt very comfortable with him. He's a very sweet guy. Um, I don't, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say about the complication. Now I'm waiting to get a call back. Um, hopefully the call back will be like, hey, <laughs> let's set up a surgery date. Um, I probably won't post this until I get that call back and I have a surgery date just because I want this video to be like a full complete video and not like broke it up into parts. And I definitely don't want to make a whole nother video that's like, this is my top surgery date and let that be it. I thought that getting getting the pictures done wasn't and getting tablets, it wasn't as traumatic as I thought it was gonna be. I kind of just like let them do their thing and I like, just didn't look. Um, it kind of sucked because like basically I was standing here and I take the pictures, you know, they take a picture front, you kind of take a picture at 40 degrees and then you take a picture facing this way. And when I was facing this way, there's a mirror right here. So it was kind of just like, fuck you know i couldn't get out of not looking at my reflection but um i didn't have my glasses on and if you know if you don't know hey i wear glasses i'm very very blind so looking into the mirror wasn't that bad i also never hear people talk about how far and between the consultation not far how long of a wait it is between the consultation and between when they call you so i'm definitely gonna make sure i have all the dates and stuff in here so you guys can see how long this process actually takes I just wanted to say that every surgeon's like wait time is different. Some surgeons are more busy than others, especially if you go to a surgeon that's well known. So like keep that in mind if you're waiting for a phone call or you're waiting between your consultation and your surgery date. Um, I don't think I also talked about how long I had to wait for the consultation. I want to say I called and scheduled a consultation on like the 11th of December. I'm definitely, I will definitely tell you, I scheduled it, scheduled my consultation in the beginning of December and uh, didn't get into the end of January. It's not so huge of a difference, but it, it's a little bit of a wait. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about. <laughs> but something has happened. Um, 
yesterday which was the 6th of february i got a letter in the mail from my insurance office with my insurance company and they have approved coverage for my top surgery they have deemed it medically necessary so i don't have to pay out of pocket and that is amazing and um yeah i want to come out here and tell you that but um yes the next clip will be of me announcing the date of my surgery Hey guys, it's Cam, and this is the long-awaited end of the video. Um, I found out my surgery date on February 19th. It is currently February 20th, and my surgery date with Dr. Gabriel Del Carrillo is March 30th. Uh, I still can't believe it still doesn't really feel real, but um, it's happening. It's finally happening. Um, I'm so, I'm so, 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 so excited. Um, thank you if you've watched this video. Thank you if you've supported me. Thank you if you're in my life and you know my situation and you're always there. Um, just thank you. It means a lot to me. Uh, <laughs> stay safe, stay happy. Remember that you are loved. Goodbye.